Add some more ethanol to this uh, to this little dish here to bring its polarity back up. And now I'm going to uh, pump some regular AFFF into that dish. Let's see if we can uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on here. Uh, this is a uh, straight AFFF. Uh, also, wetting agents will behave the same way. And I'll just put that on there. And as fast as I apply the foam, the alcohol drinks the water right out of the foam blanket. Alcohol has a strong magnetic attraction for water, and that's what you're seeing going on here. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, apply some alcohol resistant foam. Now, this would be uh, Universal Gold, and this is a 3% solution, 97 parts water, and 3 parts concentrate. And I'll just put a little bit on there to give you an indication that uh, something is in fact happening. And what's, what's going on now is the thick material that's in the foam concentrate is uh, turning into a polymeric mass underneath the foam blanket. The foam blanket rides on the polymer and that's what disconnects the, uh, the alcohol uh, from the water in the foam blanket. Uh, if I plunged it uh, it would destroy the foam and that's just what I'm doing now is I'm plunging it. Uh, now the only thing left is the polymer. The polymer is the material that uh, precipitates out of the foam blanket that allows the foam to ride on it. So alcohol resistant foams otherwise known as smart foams will create a polymer uh, on the fuel in, in case of alcohols or in case of uh, regular simple hydrocarbons like kerosene or aviation turbine fuel and one can expect it just to make an aqueous film. It's absolutely necessary that you apply the foam gently. You cannot plunge alcohol resistant foam into alcohol. It has to go on gently.